okay. This is Vlad TV, and we are here with a very special <laughs> guest. Shotgun Trey, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up, man? You already know. I actually hear you got an album coming out soon. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Can you explain on that? Yep, I got an album coming out called I Killed That Man. Oh, wow. Should okay. be out in about a week at this point. Okay. Um, I'm real excited. Real excited. Uh, it's actually my first project since being out of jail. As you know, I just recently got out. Mm -hmm. Well, a little bit a while ago. It's been about like two weeks since I've been out of jail. So, okay. this is, this is a big moment. Got another album coming out and should be great. Oh, that's nice. But uh, I actually want to talk about this new case that's going on right now. Murder case. And, uh, Everybody want to know. Listen, man. People say that I tell them myself. But <laughs> I'm not going I'm not going to do that today. Okay, I'm not, okay. I'm, I'm really not going to do none of that. Because people be saying like, oh, shotgun, you always write nice. I'm like, shut up, man. I'm not, I never read on myself, bro. Mm -hmm. Brett has is, is never been in my name, for real. Yeah, I just want to know, when did this situation happen that the case is about? Uh, about a week ago. A week ago. Okay, so I hear that you killed a woman and kidnapped a baby. That's what See, that's claim. not true. That, oh. that right there is... See, I'm, I don't rattle myself, but you got to get the facts straight. Okay, set them straight. I didn't kidnap the baby and kill the mom. Oh, wow, you did? Okay, that's, that's what y'all got it wrong. Oh, wow. I killed the mom and oh. the baby. But oh. I hid the baby... Oh. So that my charges would be lessened. Oh, makes sense. Come on now, I'm not stupid. So you didn't kidnap the baby, you just basically buried it somewhere. Oh yeah, I wasn't just going to leave the baby there. Listen, yeah. see. Okay. Now I got to tell you how it happened. See how you, you, you smooth with that. You smooth. <laughs> now I got to tell you how I'm just it trying happened. to get the record straight. All right, so listen. So pretty much, I was talking to the shorty. Okay. And she wanted me to come over. Right. So you know how shotgun do. Shotgun handles his business. Yeah. So I go over there. I didn't know that she had a baby. Oh, wow. Okay. But something is, was real suspicious about the baby. Suspicious about the baby? So, as soon as I walked in, you know, when I walk in somewhere, I peep the scene. That's okay. the first thing I do. Yeah. So, I walked in, mm -hmm. and she holding the baby. I'm like, oh, snap. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm just going to put the baby to bed real quick. And that's when I'm like, hold up. I look at the baby, and I notice right. something. The pamper is sagging. Oh, okay. The baby's pamper was sagging, bro. Like, right. it was hanging a little bit. Yeah. So, obviously, you know what that meant. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He got a pistol in the pamper. Wait, what? So, I'm like... I, I don't... I'm like, this ain't no normal baby. I said that in my head. I said, this ain't no normal baby. Okay. Because babies don't carry pistols. Yeah. I figured that out, like, five years ago. Babies don't carry pistols. Jesus Christ. So, this was real confusing to me. It, it'll be confusing, confusing to me, too. So, she was like, I just got to go to the bathroom real quick. Can you just... Wash the baby while I go to the bathroom quick. I'm going to put him to bed. I'm like, all right, cool. She put the baby down. She go upstairs. Okay. I'm sitting across, and I'm looking at the baby, bro. I'm just... Right. The baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at him. I'm just I'm just analyzing his movements, you know? Because I'm from the streets, so I'm analyzing his movements, seeing what he up to. Seeing how he moving, seeing how he work, how he operate. Okay. So, here's how I knew he wasn't a baby. Now, you know... How babies they play on this thing, right? Where you have blocks, blocks. they be shapes like a circle, a square, and a triangle. And you got to make sure oh, yeah, that you yeah, put yeah. the block in the right point so that it fit. Yep, right? Yeah, so there was a square, a circle, and a triangle. Mm -hmm. First try, bro. First try, okay. The baby was like, bow, put the square where the square supposed to go, okay. bow, put the circle where the circle supposed to go, and bow, and put the triangle where the triangle supposed to go, okay. Now, you know that it don't take a baby one try. So well, I'm like, it's for sure. It's for sure. But I still didn't want to jump the gun. But here's the thing. Okay, so you think that was the sole reason? No, that see, wanna see how, this is, I was about to get to that okay. point. Listen. I explain. Before I came to the house, I just saw this movie that's been on for a while. It's called Lil Man. Okay. And it got like Marlon Wayans in it. You know what it's about? I think so. It's about a midget, right? Yeah. A midget, he was trying to take a diamond from his girl purse. Right. So he had to act like a baby so he can get the diamond from the purse. Oh, okay. So, like, it already, like, that joint threw me for a loop. It was, like, the deepest movie I've ever seen in my life. Wow. The deepest movie I've ever seen in my life, bro. So I'm like, all right, this is weird. Like, mm -hmm. like this is happening right after I've seen that movie. This is obviously a sign from, from God, from Jesus Christ, my Savior. Wow. So, like... I'm like, all right, let me keep watching this kid, you know? So here's when it went down. 
Okay, let's hear it. I'm like, I'm like, hey, come here, baby. Just like, I okay. want to see how you walk to me. And if you walk like a baby, I, I swear, like, I wasn't going to do nothing if you walk like a baby. Okay. But I'm like, come here, baby. And that's when baby start getting excited. So I start getting excited with it, playing with it. And guess what the baby did? What? The baby like. <laughs> uh, okay. And I'm like. C, C. Yeah. That baby a crit. Well, well I, I wouldn't say that. And as you I know, wouldn't... like, I don't rock with crits, bro. As you know, I just became a blood. Oh, and wow. Like... You became a blood? Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, man. I just became a blood. Oh, wow. Since when? I got jumped in about a week ago. Wow. Where did you get jumped at? 23rd and Arch Street. Is that place like the norm? Yeah, that's where they normally handle their jumpings at. Like, oh, okay. Anytime somebody get jumped in, it's going to be right there. Normally on Thursdays. So, like, every Thursday. We get like new members. Oh, that's good to know. So who jumped you in? Bro, I'm not going to tell you who jumped me in. Like, <laughs> so basically it didn't happen? Is what you're saying? See, now you try to test my game. Bro, <laughs> all right, listen. Sea Dog jumped me in. Can you say their real um, name so I know that they're real? All right. Yeah, My man's name is Christopher Simmons. Okay. One boy that jumped me in. How tall is he? Like 6'2". What's his blood type? B. And uh, what year was he born? 1995. Oh, okay. Are we kind of Yeah. All right, so he jumped me in. Another man named Jonathan, he jumped me in. Okay. And my man's uh, Donovan, he mm -hmm. jumped me in. Oh, okay. So it was only three of them. I got it pretty light. Normally, people do more, but they heard my reputation. They didn't want to make me too mad. So I right. got jumped in, and I'm a blood. But yeah, let me get back to the point. Yeah, yeah, of course. So like, he was like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, like, is, I had is that to. the same gun that you use? Oh, yeah, it's the same gun I use. Yeah, I use it on all my murders. Oh, okay. What model is that? Glock 22. Wow, did you wear any gloves when you shot it? I oh, know, my fingerprint's still on it. Still on it from that day, too. Actually, it's on it from all the murders. I don't wear gloves from my murders. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I popped the baby. Right. Baby died immediately. Wow, on the spot. Actually, it didn't die immediately. It actually took two shots. That's how I knew it wasn't a baby. Wow. I popped it, and like, right here, started crying. Second shot to the head, you going. So I walk over to the baby, make sure it's dead. I'm like, yeah, that ain't no baby. That's a man. Okay. So then I, I, was like, I hear her running down the steps. Ah, ah, what you do to my baby? Ah, it's like she going crazy. As if I'm a psychopath. So I tried to explain to her. I'm like, listen, that ain't a baby. That's Marlon Wayne's. He was trying to get the diamond that's in your purse. And she not even listening to me. She not listening to me. She starts snapping on me, starts swinging on me. So I popped her. Man. Five shots. She was dead by the second shot, but I had to make sure. Wow. And that's pretty much how that happened. That is crazy. So, yeah, for real. Wow. Yeah, but other than that, I'm not talking more about it. You know, the case is still open. I don't want to yeah. hurt myself. Uh, can I take a step out real quick? Just to get a breather? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm... Cool, cool, cool. I'll be right here, man. Just got to go get something to drink real quick. Okay, I, I have shotgun tray in there right now. You do? Good. Yes. And I knew that he was going to talk, but I did not expect him to be this stupid. This is literally the dumbest man I've met in my life. Okay? So listen, officer. All y'all got to do is surround this building, and y'all will have this nigga. I have all the evidence on tape to lock this nigga down for life. Let's do this. Blow that retarded nigga face off! I'm done with him, okay? Let's get this done right now. Let's get this done right now.